Hi, in this video we will see what are the convergent and divergent geometric series. Let's take a geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. Whenever we write the terms comma separated we call it a sequence and this is a geometric sequence and in this case the common ratio is 2. Okay, so this is a geometric sequence. Now, if we represent it by sum of all the terms, then such sequence is called a geometric series in this case. So, in this video, we will see when a geometric series is called a convergent series and when a geometric series is called a divergent series and how do we find the sum of a convergent geometric series. Consider the same example 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus and so on. We know the partial sum formula for the geometric series is S of n sum of n terms is A which is the first term or A1 into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 if r is greater than 1 or it is equal to a1 times 1 minus r to the power n upon 1 minus r when r is less than 1. So these are the partial sums formula for the geometric series. So we can use this formula to find the sum of 5 terms, find the sum of 6 terms, 10 terms, 20 terms, 100 terms. But what if we have to find the sum of infinite number of terms in this geometric series? Okay, now let us look at this geometric series. If we have to find out S infinity for the above series, what happens? So let us look at the terms in this series. Two, Multiplied to 2 gives a 4, we get an 8, then 16, 32, 64, 128 and so on. What do we see? That at every step the term is actually getting doubled from the previous term and the terms are becoming larger and larger and larger. So the infinite term will be infinitely big. Correct? And if we try adding the terms of this series, we will see that the sum to infinity will also be infinitely big. And such series are called the divergent series. Whenever the magnitude of the common ratio is greater than 1, we call such series as the divergent series and the sum of infinite terms of such divergent series will also be infinitely big because the terms are continuously becoming larger and larger and larger. Now let us take another example. Suppose we have a geometric series 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16, 1 by 32 and so on. Okay, what do we see here? That the next term is obtained by multiplying a 1 by 2 to the previous term. So this is our common ratio R. 1 by 4 times 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 is 1 by 8. 1 by 8 times 1 by 2 is 1 by 16. 1 by 16 times 1 by 2 is 1 by 32 and so on. Now let us look at each term. 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. 1 by 4 if we see is 0 0.25. 1 by 8 0, 3, 1, 2, 5 and so on. So we see that each term is lesser than its previous term and as 
the number of terms grows the terms become smaller and smaller and smaller so as n increases the terms become smaller and smaller and smaller and they converges to zero correct they becoming smaller 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 and reaching closer and closer to zero and such series are called the convergent series convergent series are the series the magnitude of the common ratio r is less than 1 since the common ratio is less than 1 every term will be smaller and smaller and smaller than its previous term and hence we can find the sum of infinite terms of the convergent series as the terms converges to a specific value now let us see what is the formula of sum of infinite terms of a convergent geometric series s of n is a into 1 minus r to the power n upon 1 minus r when r is less than 1 so s of infinity will be a into 1 minus r to the power infinity upon 1 minus r what happens now r is less than 1 and a number less than 1 when it's raised to an infinite power it becomes a very 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 small number so basically r to the power infinity approaches zero okay so s infinity can be written as a into 1 over 1 minus r which gives us the formula of infinite terms of a convergent geometric series as a which is the first term or let me change it to a1 over 1 minus r and mod of r should be less than 1 when mod of r becomes greater than 1 the series becomes a divergent series and we cannot find the sum of infinite terms of such divergent series because the sum itself will be a very 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 large number so i hope what are convergent and divergent series is clear to everyone and also how do we find the sum of infinite terms of a convergent series is clear if you have any doubts regarding this video you can send me an email at kiti.mathacademy@gmail.com this is my youtube channel math academy if you have liked my videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you